how can you be this good? Drunk elephant, you know what to do. Mixing it all up in there. Trust the process. Oh, perfect. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be trying some viral, iconic makeup products that have been super popular for a while and I, for some reason, have just never tried them. They just never really appealed to me, I guess, but I thought it would make an interesting video. If you like this kind of video and just makeup videos in general, feel free to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna, it's free. And if you wanna see me elsewhere, my TikTok is at Soph Does Life, my Instagram is at Soph, and that's about it. Well, I mean, I do have Twitter, but nobody really wants to see me on Twitter because I mostly just chat shit, so let's get into it. Product number one. This is by Tatcha. Tatcha? Tatcha. It sounds weird in a British accent, because in America they obviously say Tatcha, but it just sounds weird. <laughs> the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. This came out a couple of years ago, I think. I have to say, they do make really nice skincare products. I've tried some of their moisturizers, they're very nice. I've tried some in like a testing TikTok ads kind of video, but I have never tried their primer, and I've had it for ages, just sitting in a drawer. I don't know why I've not thought to put it on. Honestly, I think it's partly down to the fact that sometimes when I get sent like products from bougie makeup brands, I don't want to like it because I don't want to recommend something that's like ridiculously expensive. And I get it, like sometimes I do fall in love with products that are really expensive and then I go on to repurchase them. However, when it's a primer that's 50 quid, I'm like, how can you be this good? So this is what it looks like. The packaging is very nice. I'm gonna give it a shake and it says, it's a featherweight protective primer protective. I don't see any SPF listed on here. And it says apply one pump to skin after SPF. Liquid layers of silk prime help makeup last longer while minimizing excess shine. Oh my god, it actually does have silk powder and hydrolyzed silk. Okay, fair enough. Hydrolyzed silk listed in the ingredients. So this is my skin before. I'm using mostly natural light today. I've got my curtains open, but I do have one soft box over this side. This is my skin before. It's doing pretty good at the moment. Okay, that is one pump. That doesn't feel like it's gonna be enough, but we'll try it and see. It smells kind of fruity. Actually, not fruity. It smells like some of their other moisturizers, like a tiny bit citrusy, but a little bit spa-like, but nothing too overpowering, which is good. So let's start blending it in. Do I have a bit of fluff up my nose? Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Okay, wait, let me try blending the other side. It feels quite smooth. Feels like a moisturizer with a slight sort of silicone-y feeling to it. It definitely has mattified my skin a little bit. However, it's mostly like around my jaw. It seems to be sort of like peeling off. I had this problem the last time I tried Tatcha, Tatcha products. I think it doesn't like my SPF that I've got on underneath. Yeah, see, it seems to be all right, like on the rest of my face, like my forehead. It's just like round the sides of my jaw. But it seems absolutely fine on the rest of my face, which is good. It's given this sort of like soft focus matte look to my skin. It does look nice. It does feel nice, actually. Hmm. You know what? It does actually feel really nice. My skin looks nice. It's not taking away all of the shine, but it's just taking away enough. I don't often really see a difference with a lot of primers, but I feel like it's kind of smoothed over everything. I feel like my skin looks really smooth. It doesn't feel sticky at all. My face just feels very soft. It's not particularly moisturizing though, so I wouldn't just use that by itself. I would use another moisturizer underneath it, but it feels good. It looks nice. But let's see how my foundation applies over the top. And speaking of foundation, I have never tried the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation. This has been around for years. It has won awards. It's the Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Foundation, Flawless Foundation. I've got the shade 4.5 and I think this is like the mini version because it's 18 mil and mine has got a little sticker on it that says new to the villa because I got sent this in a Boots like PR package of Love Island favourites and apparently this is a favourite in the Love Island villa. I really like how they've got a travel size one because... I don't know, maybe not everybody wants to spend 44 quid on a full bottle of foundation. This one is 27 pounds, so it's still a hell of a lot for a small bottle of foundation. And it does have a little pump, which is good. So let's give it a try and a shake. Oh, it's very liquidy. Hang on, everything is silk today. Luna silk, silk canvas. I've just done another little like half pump. Just gonna blend it in with a sponge. Oh. For some reason, I thought this foundation was full coverage. Why did I think that? Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. That's literally all it says. It's very light. 
Yeah, I kind of thought it was gonna be really thick and full coverage, but it's the exact opposite to what I expected. Why did I think that of this foundation? I've got no idea. Maybe I just see people put loads of it on. Even though with that small amount, it's got pretty light coverage. I can definitely see why people like it. It looks like my skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. And especially with that primer underneath, I feel like that's a really good combination. But can you see it's not really detectable on my face? I mean, fair enough, it doesn't have great coverage. It looks really nice. It's got a really nice smooth finish. And it looks like my skin but better it's sort of like a filtered finish to my skin but i'm gonna try another pump and just see if i can build it a little bit let's see if i can build it on this side over these blemishes okay wait i really like it <laughs> i think this foundation is used quite a lot for weddings and i can definitely see why i like it it just looks very smooth, kind of like a soft glow finish, but nothing too like intensely glowy. But it doesn't look heavy at all, especially around my nose. It just looks so natural. I didn't really want to like that. But it is actually really nice. Let me just do my bronzer and I will be back for my cream blush. Wait, I forgot to do concealer. <laughs> For my bronzer, I'm actually using this uh, Chanel one, which, funnily enough, is an iconic product that I bought and I barely ever use it. So I may as well make the most of it today. You know what, maybe I should do a video of products that I bought that I never use anymore um, and try and <laughs> revive them or tell you the reasons why I don't really use them. I feel like maybe that can make an interesting video. Let me know. Because this Chanel thing is definitely one of them. For my blush, I've got these, which are the Drunk Elephant O Blues Rosy Drops. O Blues? O blues. Oh, the O stands for Omegas. What's the blues bit mean? I've got no idea. So these are blush drops that are supposed to also have skincare benefits, I guess similar to the Tarcha primer. It has a nourishing mix of barrier replenishing omega oils and essential fatty acids, which keeps your skin soft and soothed. But then if it's just going on your cheeks, then it's like, why does it need to have skincare benefits for just being here? I know that their bronzer drops are really, really popular at the moment and people are like losing their shit for them on TikTok, but the bronzer drops are out of stock everywhere. <laughs> so let's give these blush ones a try. This is what it looks like. Shake before use, dab a tiny bit onto cheeks or add a drop or two into your serum cream or oil for an all over rosy wash of colour. I don't really want to look like a got a rash so I'm not gonna put this all over my face. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first. Shall I or shall I just do this? It's very very light. I can't imagine that this would work for that many skin tones. Maybe I didn't shake it enough? Um, it feels really cold on my face. Don't know if that's supposed to happen. It's almost got like a cooling effect. Um, it's definitely given a glow, but it's not really giving a lot of colour at all. So that was with my fingers. Let me just try my brush on the other side and just dab that in. I really like the glow that it gives, but where is the pigment? And surprisingly, it's not lifting my foundation, which I thought that it might. Oh, it's got such a nice glow, but there's just pretty much little to no colour. Do they do these in other shades? I think there is just one shade. Let me just try adding a little bit more for my brush because I think I prefer it on this side it's easier to control okay you can definitely see it like it's given me a rosy flush which I guess it, that's what it says that it does but for a product that's 33 quid you get 30 mil so it's probably gonna last a while but the amount of color that it has and I gave it a real good shake it almost seems like there's just not enough pigment in it. My skin definitely looks healthy. It looks glowing. I really like the glow that it's given. It's quite like a natural but like glowy glow. Does that make sense? But I think if you had deeper skin it would just look like a wet looking glow. You wouldn't see any of that blush colour at all because it is so subtle. Don't get me wrong like it looks pretty but for the price I need more pigment than that. It's just not it for me. Uh, I would definitely not repurchase that unless they come out with more shades. Like imagine this but just in deeper shades. It would be stunning. Like rivaling Charlotte Tilbury. Drunk elephant, you know what to do. I'm just gonna set my face and do my eyebrows and then I'll be back for my eyeshadow. I remember when this Huda Beauty palette came out because it, it had a squishy, weird looking eyeshadow in it that everyone was doing Instagram videos of. This shade right here, that's like a jelly eyeshadow that has like chunks of shimmer in it. And honestly, I was never gonna buy this eyeshadow palette, mostly because that freaks me out for some reason. However, I recently got sent this in a PR package in that like Boots Love Island box. And I thought, you know what? Since I now have this in my hands, I'm gonna see if it was worth the hype because everyone was like, oh my God, look at this horrible looking eyeshadow. It just didn't look appealing to me. And like, same with the shades. Quite a few of them look the same to me. It just doesn't look like a particularly inspiring palette. However, I'm gonna see if I can make the most of it. I think the swirly kind of shades look pretty cool. Like the ones that have got different colors in them, but like, what is this? 
Ew, 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 ew. It feels like Vaseline. It feels horrible. Like, how are you supposed to use that? For a soft, pearlescent glow, apply the Pearl Gloss Hybrid to bare lids using your finger or a flat brush. To bare lids? You know what? I'm just going to try putting it on one eye, mixing it all up in there, trying to get some of the pigment, which, I mean, it's such a mess. But not a whole lot is really coming off it unless you, like, really dig in there. At the moment, I've just got the concealer. Let's try it. I'm really curious to see if it dries down or if it just stays. I mean, firstly, it's just, there's nothing there. I'm really trying to pick up some pigment on my finger and then putting it on, you blend it out and it just kind of disappears. It's just like a slight wash of pinkiness to your eye. Is it just me or does it just look like I have an eye infection? <laughs> and I've put like some kind of cream to try and help the... <laughs> The redness. I don't think it looks flattering. And it says for a glossy finish, put it on a bare eyelid. So that's what I've done. And it's not even been a minute and it's already creased like crazy. I really, I think the shade is horrible. Like that is really horrible. It's creased loads. It doesn't even look nice. Like you can barely get any pigment out of it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Huda Beauty, but that shade would just put me off the whole eyeshadow palette. No, I'm just gonna wipe that off with my beauty blender. I'm so curious what these marble ones sort of swatch like, especially this one. It's like a bluey purple. Ooh, it's like a duochrome bluey purpley brown. Let's do flower power, the other shimmer, provocative, the other sort of marbly one. And then this one I think is a matte marbled one, which is interesting. They seem fine. They're not blowing me away. These two shades look particularly nice. They look super foily. Okay, those ones are definitely nicer. They are a tiny bit flaky, actually. I'm gonna take a bit of the shade Naughty, which is this one down here. What the hell are these shade names? Oh, I get, uh, the palette is literally called Naughty. Got it. I was like, why have they called one of them Hard, Arouse, Provocative, Slippery, Filthy? <laughs> You know, it's like chill. It's just an eyeshadow palette, and I'm just taking that on my outer corners. I will tidy this all up, by the way. I'm not just gonna leave it all messy like this. But I'm gonna try and wing it out, and then the same on the inner part of my crease. I'm gonna take that same shade, and I'm just blending that about halfway in. Well, that shade is definitely pigmented. Trust the process. <laughs> then I'm gonna take the shade Juicy, which is this one down here. And I'm just gonna use that, actually maybe, let's go with Hypnotic, which is slightly lighter, this one. And I'm just gonna use that to sort of blend and buff out those edges. Oh wow, okay, that one's more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Shit, well, it's darker, let's say, than I thought it was gonna be. Oh man, I didn't really want that to cover my whole eyelid, but we'll figure something out. Did I dip into the wrong shade on this side? Why is that so much darker? Maybe because I still had excess product on my brush. I'm just taking a clean brush to just go over the edges. I'm just going to keep dipping back into those and build up the colours again. The shades are pigmented, but I wish there was a couple of lighter transition shades because everything got quite dark quite quickly. Um, and there's not really... I've just used a tiny bit of this one to try and blend out the edges a little bit, but... I don't know, it's just a little bit more tricky. I'm going to take a tiny bit of this shade called Spicy, which is the darkest shade. It's like a really dark purple. And just deepen those inner and outer corner sort of areas. This look definitely needs saving with a bit of shimmer. I think I'm going to take that like bluey shade just in the middle. Mm, actually, I don't know if that really works with it. Mm, yeah, I don't like that shade with it. Let me just do it on the other eye and then I'll put something else over the top of it. The shade in general is a little bit like lacking if I'm honest. No, I don't like that. I think it needs something a bit lighter. So I'm going to go for, let's take Please Me, which is this one. And I'm just going to put that all over the top of this. This definitely hasn't gone the way that I wanted, but I'm going to try and fix it. So let me just put that all the way over the top. Because I want this whole look to have a shimmery finish. Maybe I should try the provocative shade. Let's take this one, the really light gold, and try and put some of this in the middle. I was trying to do this really cool sort of like diagonal halo eye with like a smoky wing. I had this vision of like the whole thing being shimmery and I thought that I could just overlay some of the shimmers and it would just make it work, but it's just not gone to plan. <laughs> I'm still trying, but to be honest, like, these shimmers are a bit hit and miss. This one is a bit more, like, flaky almost. It's got quite a lot of fallout, and then the others are just, I don't know, not the best. This one is looking quite, like, bitty and flaky, which is not ideal. 
Normally shimmer can kind of fix anything, but I'm not sure about this one. I'm gonna take this shade, Flower Power, on my very inner corner. That one's also quite flaky. I'm just going back over the top of that dark purple spicy shade. Just running a bit of that purple on my lower lash line, and <laughs> I think we will call it a day. I don't think I will be using this palette again. I mean, nothing against the palette. Mm, actually, there is something against the palette. I don't like this shade. The shimmers are quite, like, flaky. They're a bit, like, bitty. And it's just not... <gasps> no! It's just not shades I would really reach for. I'm gonna stick on a couple of gems because I feel like that will just help things. I don't know why. I just like gems and I've not put them on in a while, so. Okay, maybe I got a bit carried away, but I feel like it helped. I'm just gonna put on some mascara. So these are the finished eyes. For my lips, I have got MAC Myth. This was such a popular shade years ago. I know that MAC lipsticks aren't really as popular as they used to be, but Myth is a shade that I have never tried. It's one of their satin lipsticks. It looks like this. It's a very light sort of peachy color. Oh my God, the smell of a MAC lipstick is one of my favorite things in the world. I used to see so many of my favorite like makeup influencers use this lipstick. I'm definitely gonna need a lip liner. Let me just grab one. I'm gonna go with Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Nude which I think matches the eyes quite nicely. I'm gonna go over the top with Myth. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so much more pink on my lips than I thought it was gonna be. The funny thing is, right, this is the kind of color that I used to just wear all over my lips. Yeah, it comes out a lot more pink than I thought it would. It matches the eyes perfectly. Also, it's supposed to be one of their satin finishes, but it feels really matte to me. My other satin finish lipsticks from MAC aren't this like dry. I mean, with that lip liner, it looks nice, but I just don't think, I don't know, it's not what I was expecting. I see people using this now to just put in the center of their lips, but back in the day, people used to put this all over their lips and I probably would have been one of those people, but I never had it. I had creme de nude instead. <laughs> kind of like it. I feel like a brat doll. This is one of the Lancome Juicy Tubes. These have been around since I was a kid, I'm pretty sure, like in the early 2000s. This is the shade 02 Spring Fling. God, this lip combo is a real like throwback. I have never tried the iconic Lancome Juicy Tubes. These have been around for years. And I mean, it's just a basic, the most basic packaging you could probably ever get for a lip gloss and the most basic looking lip gloss I've ever seen. Oh, it smells nice. It looks like the kind of gloss that I would buy in Claire's accessories. Oh no, hang on. Oh my God, it's like dissolved the lipstick. The gloss itself feels nice, but normally when I'm wearing a lip gloss, I wear it over the top of a lipstick and it's kind of just completely dissolved <laughs> the lipstick. It feels nice, you know, like it feels hydrating. It's I mean, it's not sticky, but it's doing that like stringy thing. Ugh. Maybe because I have lipstick on underneath and the two of them are kind of reacting, but look at this. Oh God, I hate that feeling. Hang on, hang on. I think there's just too much going on, but honestly guys, it just feels like a basic gloss. Like it's probably the kind of thing that I would keep in my handbag if my lips were feeling dry, I'd whack a little bit on because it feels like quite a hydrating one. It's not super sticky, but I wouldn't pay, I think it's 22 pounds. I wouldn't pay 22 pounds for it. Finally, these lashes are the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Lashes in Ruffle, okay? We don't have these in the UK. I actually got these from my lovely friend Jazz who went to America and she asked if I would like any makeup. And I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to try these lashes because apparently these are the lashes that have been used on the Kardashians for years. Loads of celebrities use these lashes. I don't know why we don't have them in the UK because we have Kiss lashes. We just don't have the ruffle style. Jazz very kindly got these for me and I'm gonna whack some of these on and hope that I turn into a Kardashian. Actually, I don't want to turn into a Kardashian. <laughs> Well, I mean, being a billionaire does sound quite nice. I can already tell just by looking at them, these are gonna be way too big for my eyes, so I will cut them down. Ooh, they're very flexible, which is great. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, let me just trim them down a little bit. Only thing is I find it so hard to put on like a full lash band without any eyeliner on, so <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> I think it's the way I've stuck them on. They just do not look the same. I find it so difficult to stick on lashes when I don't have eyeliner on. They always just end up looking so wonky. They are quite dramatic. I definitely wouldn't wear this kind of lash every day. I like them, but they definitely don't look the same on me as they do on Kim. <laughs> yeah, am I being crazy or do they look different on both of my eyes? It could be the angle that I've stuck them on at, but I don't know. This side looks like longer at the outer corners. Ta-da. 
Okay everyone, that is me done. This video went on for way longer than I thought it would. Well, maybe not for you, I'll probably cut it down, but I've been sat here for like three hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. If you want to see more videos like this or just more makeup videos in general, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I would love that. It's free. I also am posting loads of shorts at the moment. So if you're into YouTube shorts, then um, I don't know, you could subscribe for those too. Let me know down below what is something that you haven't tried yet that's a viral product because maybe I also haven't tried it. I hope you're all doing good and I will see you in my next video.